What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Sunday. Is that the new... Oh, these are the cards in game. Was there some... There was a few icons in there, wasn't there? Um, hopefully, a mini release today, guys. Hopefully. Let's see what EA have given us, though, for today. Apparently, there's been a leaked Evo as well, which uh, I suppose I'm a little bit excited about if I've got somebody that fits into it. It doesn't look like... There is anything in objectives, which makes sense, I suppose, for a for a Sunday. And then for evolutions. Counter two has expired. That's fine. Birthday magic was already there with Tricky Ricky. Silky center half. Oh my days. What does this give? Three pace, block plus. One shooting, four passing, five dribbling, three defending, three physical. Trickster as well. Four star. Oh my days. Nah. Guys, EA have been absolutely nailing the Evos. Absolutely nailing the Evos this week. I, I don't want to hear any goddamn slander from EA on Evos. You get, you're making a five star, five star centre back now. And what were the requirements? Max 86, was it? Max 86, pace 84, physical 86. Must not be a CDM. Playstyle's max 8, playstyle plus is max 1. Oh. There's going to be some really cool cards. And I'm, I'm going to do it straight away as well, before we go and look at the rest of the content, right? Just because we're there with it. There's going to be some really cool cards that you've... Or, like, there might be some good just base cards, right, that you can, that you can use like Rafael Varane or something, even though he's already got like a sick, few sick cards and stuff like that. But if you've got a really good centre-back Evo already, you're going to be able to put, make one of them really, really good. And I think my Urian Timber, who is on the cusp of being brilliant, I think he fits in this and is going to be literally unreal. Um, I think he's going to be literally unreal. We're going to have a little look at a couple of the guys that I've got. I've actually got like a handful of centre backs from the uh, from the Arsenal team that could be eligible here, and so let's go into the uh, into the club evolutions. Wait, what? Ah, oh, that's that's those ones. This FS one's expiring. That's okay. So we have got Silky centre half. I have got Ben White, which is a great option as well. Please have Urian Timber here. He's not. How does he not fear? That's pain for me. That is pain. He's got 87 physical. Look out, look. Imagine this card with 5 star, 5 star on that boost. However, imagine this Ben White that's now going to be 5 star, 5 star. Crazy stats. Crazy stats. Look at that card. Oh, that's a banger. That's a banger. Let's go. I'll, I'll have a look at the other Arsenal players that do or don't fit. You know, maybe maybe there's some, like, special versions. Maybe the special Urian Timber is eligible. Um, But that Evo, free Evo as well, by the way, a free Evo, it's another absolutely fantastic one. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. And so with that, let's have a look at the SBCs for today, guys. Apparently, we're getting a new hero pick today. What else have we got? Rodrado, Openda, Carrick, Grimaldo. Player moments is back. Hoyland. Oh, is there no? Is it? An, it's an icon today, isn't it? It's an icon today. So the eighty-seven rated plus rated encore hero player pick. You can do it twice every two days. One of three UCL, UWCL, or Fantasy FC hero player rated eighty-seven or higher. So it's not heroes only, is it? All right. 
is it just me or is this looking like a terrible evo oh, sorry a terrible uh a a a, 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 ter a terrible pick the fact that you can get ucls and uwcls and so many of them are pretty awful I have a feeling it's just bad, isn't it? We'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Let's let's get let's get it built. Let's get it open. And let's get a let's take a view on it off the back of that. I I, I just think like the I, th I don't know, man. I, th I I would always sit here and rather put like an eighty seven rated squad into the exchange, get all those packs back, all those picks back, and enjoy it via that instead. It does look a bit overpriced. I I, I would absolutely agree with that. It looks a bit overpriced. There are some very good cards, but the chances of getting them are very slim. Yeah. UWCL, Bonpastor, Galore. Yeah, it probably will be, won't it? What the hell? Got 88s and stuff in here. Probably got so many special cards that I could actually put in that would make it work, but... You're kidding me. I have to put another 88 in here. Maybe just an 89 over an 88 instead. Left a mural. Oh, gosh. And then the last squad was what? An 86. Only one inform needed, which is all right. Although saying that, I could probably build the whole thing from informs. Um, with how many informs we've got in the, the club these days. Yeah, we've got the Haji icon as well. Was there a mini release? I, obviously, I'll look myself anyway. But uh, I, was, I was hopeful that we'd actually have a mini release. They blocked chain evos. Can't put in a CDM, which we got from previous Evo for center back. Yeah, that was one, though. That was the Patrick Who, though, right? There is a mini-release. Oh, brilliant. That, that was only Patrick Who that you got that, that turned a center back into a CDM. I'm, I'm not overly fussed with that, if I'm being honest. I'm not overly fussed with that. Right, let's see what we get, guys. One of three, 87 plus UCL, UWCL, and FFC hero cards. And I've got robbed. That's what I've got. We've got three of these UCL... You WCL heroes. If you get the fantasy ones, golden, right? Because obviously they can be upgraded. But if you don't get a fantasy one, you're just absolutely mudded, aren't you? Um, it's there twice at the last. We'll, we'll, we'll do some share plays on that, but I don't, I don't think that one's going to be worthwhile, guys. I think that's going to end up being just massive L's for everybody all over the place. Right, Shalonge is nothing new. Icons, we have got a brand new icon today, and it is Georgi Arji. He is five star, five star, high medium, which is a good upgrade for him. Center mid, left mid, and cam. Well, that, that car looks crazy. Good pace, really good shooting, really good dribbling, really good passing, really good physical. Got finesse shot plus, chip shot, power shot, dead ball plus. Incisive pass, technical flair, and first touch. That's a mad card, you know. You could do anything with this card. A hunter and play him at striker. An engine and play him at cam. A maestro and play him at cam. You know, an engine and play him on the wing. A catalyst and play him on the wing. That is a crazy card. Eight segments. A bronze and a silver. An 81. An 86 twice. An 87 twice and an 88. Instead of doing that player pick twice, you could just do this once instead and get yourself an absolute banger of a card. That is an awesome, awesome icon, SBC. 85 finishing. Yeah, but you boost that with a chem style, right? Also, when you've got like really good long shots, really good shot power, really good positioning, and you've got finesse shot plus, and you've got power shot, that 85 finishing is far less like painful than it actually seems. And then in store, nobody cares really. Uh, I'd be very surprised if that 750k pack is back. Up. It is back again already. What? How is it back again already? And why are we doing it? Sometimes it's got to be done, isn't it? 
you know that they know that this pack is like a, a banger pack. This is the fourth time. <laughs> this is the fourth time that we have got this pack in about 10 days. I did not expect it to be back today. Right, come on, give me a mini release then. Is it Riyad Mahrez? Oh, he is mini release. How about that? And uh, Jay Auto, who is not mini release. Got Riyad Mahrez. Five star, five star. Pretty, pretty good stats. Really good play styles. Relentless, press proven, king pass. First touch plus and technical plus. He's got really good play styles. I bet he's cheap as well because of his League of Nation. Yeah. I knew, I knew it would happen. He will end up being about 100k or less. What icon did I get? Van Nistelrooy. Ugh. And Van der Sar. I got double icon at least. I'm going to have to use Van der Sar in an SBC, aren't I? Right. Let's, first of all, take a little gander at the mini release. So we've got Larson and two Sanchez's. Forsberg twice, Bashiroto, Larin, Casemiro, Hegerberg. Wow, that Hegerberg is going to be crazy. Um, and we've got Haji's icon card. We're going to start with Haji here. 500k for this card. I think that is great value. As I said, an engine, great pace, great dribbling, great passing, very good shooting, good physical, beautiful. You could put a maestro on him and play him at center cam. Love that. Five star, five star as well, guys. You could put, for, for me, I think a catalyst could be quite interesting on him as well. Max pace, max passing, crazy dribbling. Like, I'm going to complete him. I will be completing him. He's very good. We have got Hegerberg, 5'4 and 4'5. She's already 60K. Do people not know how this game works? This is a crazy card. Aerial Plus, which is already broken. Okay, she's only 5'9", so it's not like she's 6'4 with Aerial Plus or anything. But she's got Aerial Plus. Power Shot Plus with 5-star weak foot is so overpowered. Finesse Shot, Chip Shot, Power Header, Ping Pass, Technical, First Touch, Relentless, and Travella. And she's already 60k. Great shooting, good pace, very good physicals. I'm going for a hawk on her. Pace is elite, shooting's elite, physical's elite, passing's good, dribbling's good. That is a 60k. Nice. Asimiro, guys, compared to his 90 rated, he got seven pace and shooting, six dribbling, even though he lost agility and balance. Oh, no, wait. Oh, wait, he lost pace. He lost seven pace and seven shooting. Lost six dribbling, but gained seven agility and balance. Gained massive defending, although it's based on his special card, I suppose. Gained physical gain passing. Compared to his uh, other card, he got 20 pace. Good agility and balance. Good dribbling. What is he? Five star, five star. Long ball pass plus, bruiser plus. Beautiful. Aerial, slide, intercept, block, ping pass, and power shot. It's a big card, man. He's got generally very good stats. You pop a shadow on him. Great pace, great defending, very good physicals, very good passing, good shooting from range. A little heavy on dribbling, I can't lie. Has he got jockey? No, a little heavy on dribbling. But other than that, that is a really, really solid card. It's not 84 passing, though, right? He's got 90 short pass, 90 long pass, and 84 vision. His passing is actually very good. But because crossing and free kick accuracy is low, the passing stat is low. Is not representative of how it works. Also, he's got long ball pass plus and ping pass. So his passing is going to be immaculate. His passing is going to be brilliant. Uh, we've got Larin, aerial plus and power shot plus again. Six foot two, four star, five star. Finesse shot, chip shot, power header. Incisive pass, ping pass. Bruiser first touch and acrobatic. This is going to be one of those cards that goes massively under the radar that will be insane. He is controlled lengthy, little weak on dribbling, all right? Fair enough, right? Little weak on dribbling. Doesn't have technical either. First touch helps with that lack of dribbling, though, a little bit. 
Short pass is good. Crossing is good. Vision is good. Curve is good. Shooting, pace, physicals, brilliant. Aerial plus, power shot plus, power header, five star weak foot, six foot two. He's going to be amazing. He's 17K. He's 17K. I'm blown away by the price of some of these players. We've got Bashiroto, five star, three star. Oh, he had the. Uh, the other card here, five star, three star. I'd rather three star, five star on a center back, but never mind. Six foot tall, block and slide tackle plus, nice. Relentless bruiser, intercept jockey, long born power header. This is, this is a decent card. Really nice dribbling for a center back. Decent passing with the shadow, controlled lengthy with very good pace, very good defending, very good physical. It's a good, he's, like, I can see why this card would be cheap. It's a good card. We've got Emil Forsberg now for the Red Bulls. He's got a 5-4 and a 4-5 version. They're already discard price. He's got finesse shot plus, technical plus, incisive long ball, tiki tacker, flare first touch and Traveller. Dribbling again, a little bit meh. Yeah, this, this is a weak card. He's, he's low rated across the board. I can completely understand why he's discard price. We've got Hugo Sanchez with a 5-4 and a 4-5. He's got power shot plus and rapid plus. Dead ball power header, flare first touch, acrobatic and aerial. Really poor physicals. Really nice dribbling, good shooting, great pace, decent passing. Copper, copper hunter on him, I'd say. Great pace, great shooting, great dribbling. It's not. Would it, would it, would, I just. I don't know about this sort of card. Just not my bag, personally. Just not my bag. Um, not the one for me. And then Henrik Larsson got given another card, guys. They gave him five physical. Eight of which was strength. Five passing. Six dribbling and uh, five balance. He's five star, four star. Power shot plus, chip shot plus. Finesse shot, power header, flare. First touch, trickster, quick step and Traveller. That's a mad card. Little bit heavy on dribbling. Hunter for me. Great pace, great shooting. Terror, like not the best passing. Not the best dribbling. He'll be... I think, yeah, he'll be super cheap. He's already down at 125k anyway. And then we've also got this brand new evolution. Silky center half. Gabriel Inform is eligible. Varan Inform is eligible. Urian Timbers 86 is eligible. Mtidi, who's a beast, is eligible. David Alaba, nice. Ledley King, They're probably those are the best ones already. Gabriel, lengthy, great pace, great defending, very good physicals, decent passing and dribbling, but probably a bit heavy, but five star, five star. This Varane's going to be mad, isn't he? This Varane's going to be mad. Block plus, anticipate plus, bruiser and trickster, five star, five star, lengthy, great pace, great defending, good physicals, good passing, good dribbling, and Yuri and Timber here as well. I think my one's probably better. Five star, five star, high, high work rates. Block, slide tackle plus, jockey, intercept and trickster. Oh man, with a, with a shadow, he's got great pace, great defending. Very good physicals, good passing and great dribbling. Damn, that might be a card to do. That might be a card to do. This might be a card to do. Five star, five star, with 99 dribbling. Great defending, good physical, good passing, good pace, and good play styles. The only thing he's missing is defensive play styles. You know, he doesn't have anticipate, doesn't have jockey. Like, obviously, he gets block plus, but. For, for me personally, guys, this, I, I, I think this is just another real cool evolution. Have a look at the evolved players. Christian Mosquera, not interested, too slow. I kind of want to find somebody that's fun, that's like a bit of a chain Evo with some play at some things that are available already, but I don't think there is. Ledley King could be quite interesting. Anticipate plus and, uh, and block plus with a shadow, mostly lengthy, great pace, great defending, good physical, good dribbling, not the best passing. There's a few, there's a few good ones here. Has Rudiger, Rudiger got an option, has he? Yeah. 
lengthy with great pace, great defending, great physical, good passing, good dribbling. I think what, see, this is the thing for me, right? I think you've got to find players that have got really good play styles already that then become even more advanced. Like somebody like Rudiger, I think, is a, is a bit of a waste. Um, because you want something like, like this Donch is a bit better because he's got a few more play styles. But you kind of want to just, yeah, for, for me personally, we set number of play styles. Number of play styles is let's say five minimum. So these are the guy. The, these are the people that I'd be like most interested to look at straight away. So um, Tiddy, see, he's got block plus, power header, jockey, intercept, aerial, bruiser, and anticipate, and becomes, in my personal opinion, very good. Apart from that stamina, that is a bit of a pain. We got Holgate. Remember this card? Mate, the fact that he's eligible. He ends up having aerial, anticipate, intercept, long ball, slide tackle, block plus. With the shadow, great pace, very good defending, good physical, good passing, good dribbling. That's a cool card. You're doing him, Tiddy. I think him, Tiddy, is a good one to do. I think I really think he is. Hummels is probably a little bit slow. This Hermoso looks like he could be a beast. He, he obviously you'd have had to have done his SBC. I didn't. But he becomes 5-5 five, five with really cool stats. That is a very good card. That is a very good card. Really good play styles. Medium high work rates. Really good in-game stats. Nuskin looks good. Who was that Nuskin? I saw her. That's the new inform, isn't it? There's a cam as well. Yeah. Apart from composure, I'm all like, you wouldn't really, how, how tall is she? Five for eight. You're not playing her at centre back or at centre mid, really. It is, it is a cool card. Block plus, in, like uh, long ball pass plus, ping pass, anticipate, bruiser, aerial and trickster. She's got good pace, great defending, very good dribbling, very good physical, very good passing. Just a bit too short. Maybe at fullback, but probably a bit too slow for fullback. Maybe in centre mid. Like, I, I wouldn't be opposed to using her as a centre mid, to be fair. I wouldn't. Romani in form is a joke. Somebody asked for Vertonghen in form as well. Alaba looks good, but he's already had a few big cards. So let's have a look at Romani. Oh, yeah, I like that. Good pace for a lengthy. Good physicals, great defending. Poor vision, but good passing otherwise. A little heavy on agility and balance, but otherwise brilliant dribbling. King pass, bruiser, slide tackle, anticipate plus. And uh, I, I don't think there's too, too many beast cards here from base cards. I think you're going to get the most out of this from your current Evos that you've got that you can now put into this and make even, even better. And yeah, for me personally, it's going to be my Ben White. Um, I've got my... Uh, my evolution watch list here. Oh, here's my evolutions. Yeah, my Ben White is going to become ridiculous. Whether it be centre back or even at CDM, because he's got good vision, great short and long pass, good physicals, great defending, great dribbling, five star, five star, block plus long ball pass, first touch and technical. He'd actually make a really good DM. Yeah, 90. Actually, the one that I looked at had 99. Um, so he might even have a bit more there. But yeah, I'm, I'm all about it, guys. Once again, I, I think it's fair to say this Evo is insane. I think it's fair to say that we had a few really good promos this year. Thunderstruck was one of them. Uh, Fantasy FC was one of them. I think Foot Birthday is the absolute hallmark of what the worst promo should be. Great cards, great upgrades, great SBCs, great Evos, great packs, great menu content, some nice gameplay content. Like, it is, it is just very good, isn't it? It's very good. And credit to EA where it's due because it's got me really engaged with the game right now, um, which I wasn't engaged just three, four, five weeks ago. I was looking at almost anything else to do. So GG's to EA. That's going to be the end of the video for today. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.